Percy and the Christmas Tree. the day before Christmas Eve. There were to be no trains on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, so Thomas and his friends were looking forward to a nice long rest. It had been cold and misty all day, now it was beginning to get dark, and Percy, who was standing at the platform at Farquhar, heard a bell ringing. It stopped, and a little later the station master, looking worried, came and spoke to Percy's driver. You know the plantation near Hackenbeck? he said. The driver nodded. The plantation lorry has broken down, the station master went on. They just loaded it with Christmas trees for market to tip of tomorrow when an axle broke, and it can't possibly be mended in time. Well, what do you suggest then? asked the driver, scratching his head. That Percy takes some trucks for the stranded trees and then goes on to Tidmouth with them? Percy frowned. Bother! he groaned. I was looking forward to a nice warm shed too. Sorry, Percy, said the station master, but think of the children who might not get a Christmas tree tomorrow if we don't do something about it. Percy understood. They collected trucks and the guards fed from the yard and then set off. By now it was dark, and because the last train of the day had gone, the lights in the halt at Hackenbeck had been put out. Torches by the line side showed where the plantation men were waiting. They had unloaded the trees onto a small hand barrow and pushed them, a dozen or so at a time, to a place where they could be loaded to Percy's trucks. Oh, thank goodness you've come, said the foreman. Probably saved our bacon you have, and no mistake. The men loaded the trees as quickly as they could, but it was very cold work, and Percy shivered as he waited. But at last, they were all ready, and Percy puffed off down the valley as quickly as he could. He clattered importantly through the junction under clear signals, and soon reached the yard at Tidmouth. While his men were unloading the trees, the foreman came to see Percy. He was carrying a splendid Christmas tree under his arms. The men and I thought you might like to have this tree in your shed over Christmas, Percy, he said. I don't know what we would have done without you, and I shall write to the Fat Controller to say so. Thank you again, and a very happy Christmas to all of you. <laughs> 